Hey guys, Adam here with americantrucks.com and today we're taking a closer look at installing and testing out the Pace Edwards Jackrabbit retractable tonneau cover for the 2019 Ram 1500. If you're the owner of a 2019 Ram, you might be in the market for something that's going to keep your cargo safe and protected from all weather elements all year round and also protect your cargo from theft and prying eyes while doing so in a stylish fashion, but also with premium quality grade stuff. Now, a retractable cover is very different than a traditional soft roll-up, hard roll-up, or tri-fold cover. It uses almost like a garage door type of system, something that's gonna roll into itself inside of a canister at the front of your bed by the bulkhead. That's exactly what this guy does here, and it is so easy to use once you have it installed. What it's going to do is essentially have a locking mechanism or a twisting lock that allows you to detach it, and it'll roll up by itself even. You just click it, and it retracts into this canister rolling into itself safely and securely. In addition to it just rolling straight open to give you access to nearly your entire bed, it's also gonna have versatility in the way that it can do so. You can have it open a quarter of the way, half, three quarters, or have it completely closed protecting the entire bed itself. So if you're hauling different size cargo, say you're hauling barrels, say you're hauling a couch, dresser, so on and so forth, you may only need half of your bed. You can retract it halfway, it'll lock into position, and you can drive with it like that. So that's something I really like about this. You wouldn't get that kind of versatility with a simple soft roll of tonneau cover. So having the retractable does come in handy there, depending on the type of cargo you are hauling. Now it is using all premium quality, like I said. It's got all aluminum construction in the framework. It's also got all of the slats that you can see here, these individual maybe two inch bars going completely across that it retracts. All of that is aluminum. It uses aluminum textured black that uh, has a little bit of a sheen to it, a little gloss on the side bed rails, which I think looks really sleek. And all of that has an extremely low profile. If you were looking straight at eye level, you wouldn't even know that it has a tonneau cover on it. It is that sleek and that professional looking. That's kind of how I describe it. I think this looks very professional on your truck. I think there are some soft roll-ups or even hard roll-ups that really don't look that good. Some of them stick out like a sore thumb. Personally, I'm one that goes for a low pro or low profile option, which this one definitely is. Because it uses aluminum slats here, you cannot break into this with a knife like you would a soft roll-up. While it does have a texture leather grain vinyl on top, directly underneath this is that aluminum slat, so you wouldn't be able to make your way into it if you wanted to. And to add to that security, this little notch here that unlocks it and allows it to retract has a key inside of this lid. Two keys are included in the kit, so you have a spare. You can lock this guy up so nobody can open it even when your tailgate's closed. That's also another thing to note. You can use this when your tailgate is closed. All you have to do is pop that guy up, make sure it's unlocked, twist it, and it retracts. So it is easy to access it without having to drop your tailgate. One thing to note here as far as access to your bed, this canister does take up about a foot of room, just a little bit longer than this lid itself, but it doesn't sit all the way down to the truck bed floor. So while you might not be able to put things past this access point, you will be able to slide them underneath. So if you're hauling two by fours or paddle boards or anything long like that, you can utilize the space underneath of the canister. Now, because this is one of the more premium options, it's more versatile, it's more protective, and it has much more stylish access point or usage functionality, it does come in with a higher price tag, right around 1200 bucks. So it does put it on the higher end of the tonneau cover or bed cover spectrum, but for a very good reason. It's got really good weather stripping all the way around. It has a drainage system built into the canister, so you can utilize the factory drainage system in the bed. There are rubber grommets all along the inside of this bed by your bulkhead, by the windshield. You can take one of those grommets out and use two of the drain plugs or two of the drain hoses and hook it up to the bottom of the canister. Anytime moisture or anything makes its way into the canister, not into your bed, in the canister, it'll drain right out using the factory system. So really useful stuff. Nothing's gonna get in contact with your cargo, no rain, no sleet or hail, but sometimes it makes its way into that canister. Again, that is completely normal and a part of the process and it utilizes some very functional drainage systems to make sure it gets out of the bed just like it's meant to from the factory. All right, with that in mind, install. One out of three wrenches on our difficulty meter. It is a little bit more of a lengthy process than some of the traditional style tonneaus, simply because it is a more intricate system. It's got different bed rails than the normal tonneau cover. It's also got a different clamping system than a traditional tonneau cover. And of course, the canister is going to install and assemble a little bit differently than what you may be used to. Even though it is a little bit more intricate, I'm gonna walk you through every step of the process. There are some tips and tricks I'll give you along the way. You'll need very simple hand tools to get this job done. What do you say we get to it? 
Tools used in this install include wire cutters or a cutting tool similar, paddle removal tool, and a Phillips head screwdriver. First step here, what you're gonna do is take the weather stripping included in the kit, and we're gonna line the top of our bulkhead. Now, certain trucks, depending on your model, will have lay-in bed liners. If you have an aftermarket bed liner, you may not need to do this. You wanna check with the instructions, of course, per each situation. We do not have a drop-in bed liner, so we do need this weather stripping. So I'm gonna peel off this 3M backing. We're gonna start here on that pre-painted bulkhead and line our way back to the other end. All right, you wanna put firm and even pressure all around. And then when you get to the end, grab a pair of scissors or a cutting tool of some sort and just cut off the excess. The next step, you may either need a helping hand or something to prop up your canister. Now the canister I'll be referring to throughout the video is basically the entire tonneau cover assembly in that box as it sits. Now this canister is gonna need to be propped up if you're working by yourself. We have a little bit of an apple box here that'll give us some height on this. You wanna put that about a foot out from your cab or from your bulkhead. We're gonna be propping our canister on that box and then assembling our side rails to the canister as it's propped up. That's just gonna give us a little bit of height on it to line everything up properly. So I've got the box in position. Let me pop the canister on top of it. All right, and if, of course, if we need more height, we can add something under it, and that's how it's gonna sit for now. Now, you wanna take note on the back here, it does have a sticker that says cab side, so you wanna make sure you're installing that facing the right direction. This side here does not have a sticker, that'll be your tailgate side, but you'll see the weather stripping, you'll see it pulls out this way, so it just makes sense, it only goes one way. All right, so make sure you got an appropriate height. If you need to add more height to it, you can do so now or if you have a helping hand, you can start moving forward. All right, the next step here, we're gonna install our side bed rails onto our canister, and this can get pretty tricky. It takes a little bit to figure out exactly which angle you need everything at, uh, which position you need to put them in. So you wanna take time, have a little bit of patience, and really make sure that you're putting every piece into the correct spot. Now you'll notice on the far side toward your bulkhead of your rail, there's this big rectangular cutout. That is going to be where your blanket guide is. This little plastic black piece that is more like a hook, that's gonna go right into this cutout. You wanna make sure this notch here on your rail is clipping into the track on this back portion of your canister. This section here on this side of your square cutout is going to go into this portion of the track. Your blanket guide goes in the middle. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna feed this guy in and hook it into the side of that rail. As we do that, we wanna make sure that our track is also lining up with the tonneau itself, this little track here. So there's a lot of moving pieces that you wanna make sure are in line as you're sliding your rail into place. From there, we'll push it all the way back. We've got it slotted into the back rail. We lifted it up to give ourselves a little bit more clearance and then slotted it into the front rail. Now, once that was in, we have our tonneau cover slotted in. We're just pushing it all the way back. All right, so now we can repeat that on the other side. All right, so we got our rails in place. It is very tricky, it is very tedious, but we slotted them in, they're pushed all the way back and they're nice and tight and secure. You can give it a wiggle and make sure it ain't going anywhere. From here, we wanna kick out whatever you have propping this up. We have those apple crates down there. In the directions, it does suggest using the box it actually was shipped to you in. So what we're gonna do now is kick this out and it'll drop into place and seat on our bed. There you have it. You see it sits flush right on the side of the bed. We're gonna push this all the way back up against the bulkhead. Now underneath the bed rail, where it meets the canister, there's a bed rail grip that has a pre-drilled and pre-threaded hole. Grab one of the Phillips head screws in the kit, a lock washer and a flat washer, and you're gonna secure the bed rails into place through these holes. You're gonna do this with your Phillips head screwdriver. All right, repeat on the other side. All right, so our next step here, we wanna assemble some clamps and clamp down our side bed rails. Now the clamps included in the kit are unlike any other clamps that I've seen in any of the other tonneau covers on the category or in the category. The way this is going to work is each clamp is in two pieces and has an additional tightening knob. Now the knob we'll talk about in just a second. First, you wanna focus on the bed rail clamp portion and the factory bed tensioner. 
This portion here has a pivot arm, which will go underneath the factory bed to hold tension. This bottom hook is actually going to slot into the other portion of the clamp. So together it goes like this and they aren't going to be able to pull apart. Now the way this is going to tighten together, this tightening knob is gonna go through the front. You have a little nut that's gonna go on the back. This you'll tighten it down once it's on the car. Now in addition to that, you're also gonna have a flat and lock washer that I'm going to put on the tightener knob side. Again, we'll talk about that in just a little bit. Now you don't wanna assemble this before you put it on. You're going to put the clamp portion, this little squared off portion on first. So when we look at our bed, you'll see there is a little notch right where this chrome spacer plate is. Now this spacer plate is riveted on, so that's not coming off. But that's going to indicate where we want our clamps to be. You'll have one on the tailgate side and one up by the cab side. Now that's gonna be a little bit different. We'll talk about that later. First, we wanna focus on this. There is a clamp relief, which is this little notch. You're basically gonna take this clamp and insert it into that notch and then slide it to lock it in. Slide it toward that chrome plate. So once it's in there, it's not going anywhere, but if you slid back, you'd be able to remove it. So into that notch, slide it forward, just like that. Now what we're gonna do, and this gets a little tight, we're gonna take the side with the pivot arm and put the pivot arm underneath the factory portion of the bed. That's this, this black piece. It's gonna go under there, and we're gonna slide it and slot them together, just like that. So now they're gonna hold tension on each other once we tighten it down. Take the adjustment knob. I'm gonna put the lock washer and flat spacer that's included in the kit, along with this metal portion here, this nut. I'm gonna put that through the front, take that nut and slide it in from the back. Now in order to do that, I have to hop in the bed, so I'm gonna climb in there and tighten this guy down. All right, so you're gonna put that nut in through the back and just twist the adjustment knob until it catches the threads. From there, you're really just twisting to tighten it down. And you can see from the back how that catches both sides. Now that we have this tightened down, I'm gonna repeat this exact thing near the tailgate on our driver's side. All right, so now we can repeat that for the front end of our cab where these other spacers or rivets are. Now guys, it's worth noting that your bed rail clamp is a little bit longer on the front end side. So you wanna make sure you're using the correct side when installing these clamps. Repeat for the other side. Next up, we have to install our kickstand. The point of the kickstand is to assemble right against the bed, the inside of the bed, through your clamp. That way, when load is put on this tonneau cover, it has these support rods to keep it from flexing. Now, what you're going to do is basically take the wing nut, lock washer, and uh, flat washer off of the stud. You're gonna put the stud through where the two clamps meet. Now, you'll notice that it has a flexible head here. When you're putting this up against the bed, you don't want it to be flexed at an angle like this. You don't want the bar straight and the flex head to be at an angle. You want the bar to be at an angle and the flex head to be straight. So we're gonna put this through. So now what we can do is put our flat and split washers over that stud on the other side, along with the wing nut. All right, now before we tighten that down too much, we just wanna get it in position. We wanna make sure we have this at the right distance. So what we're gonna do is basically tighten down this stud so it puts pressure up against the side of the bed. From there, tighten down the wing nut. All right, there you go. Now you're basically going to adjust this knob, tightening it against the side of the bed until the rail is visually level. So you're really looking straight down and making these adjustments, and you can see it start to raise up. Ours is pretty level, so I'm gonna repeat on the other side. All right, at this point, you wanna open up the lubricant and protectant sealant package. There's this little foam padding. It's more of like a sponge. What you're gonna do is basically lubricate the inside of this weather strip sealant to help the 
operation of your tonneau cover uh, go a little smoother. So this will help lubricate that right up. So what you can do is either put it on a pair of gloves, I have latex gloves on, and run your finger across it, or you can just take this itself and run this straight underneath that weather stripping all the way across. And you'll definitely want to lift up on the weather stripping here and put it on underneath. You want to avoid using any cleaning solutions or lubricants uh, aftermarket. You definitely want to use the one that's in this kit. All right, and just repeat that for the other side. All right, so at this point, you want to install your drain plug. Now, you can cut it to length depending on where you want to run it. We are not going to have to do any drilling because on this factory bed, there is a grommet plugging up a hole on the side here by the bulkhead. Most, if not all, trucks have some sort of drain plug similar to this. So just find the plug on yours. We're going to use this one right here by this tie down. What you're gonna wanna do is take a pair of pliers or take a pair of uh, panel removal tools and just pop that guy out of there. Once that's popped out, again, you may wanna trim this to length or you can just stick the whole damn thing in there. It's up to you. What we're gonna do is feed this guy into that hole and we're gonna line this up to the plug on the bottom of our canister. And what you do is push straight in, you'll hear a click and it's locked into place. Now all moisture would feed through this tube straight down into the drain. Repeat that for the other side. Now guys, before we show you guys the operation of the Jackrabbit, there's one more thing we have to do as far as the strap goes for the operation and then we'll throw our cover on. What you wanna do is take the extra Velcro strap with the plastic 3M on the back here and you're gonna stick it on to the Velcro on the end of our pull rope. This is for the operation of the tonneau. You get to pull this, pull it straight back, so you don't have to go all the way to the back of your bed. So we're gonna take this Velcro strip and apply it to the Velcro on our strap. Now what you can do is peel off the backing of this, which is just basically 3M tape, 3M automotive bonding tape, which is gonna help you adhere it to any, really anywhere on the bed that you want it to go. I would recommend going to either your driver or passenger bed rail. There's a big flat portion right here. I'm gonna stick this guy right underneath. I think that's probably one of the better places for it. That way, whenever you want to use your tonneau cover, pull this guy and it clicks right into place. And then when you're not using it, you can just go back to the end here and hook it back onto that Velcro so you know exactly where it's going to be every time. All right, the last step here is to grab the cover included in the kit. We're going to drop this guy into place. There are pre-drilled holes on each side of the cover, one on each side, and that's going to line up to this guy here, this threaded adjustment tab. So you're carefully dropping that guy in. You want to look through and line that up. Grab the Phillips head screw included in the kit and drop it down. First, we're going to thread this guy in by hand. Do the same thing on both sides. And when it comes to operating your jackrabbit here, what you're going to do is basically just take this rope that we Velcroed to our side bed rail and you can pull it until it clicks into place on the tailgate side. Now again, when you're done using this guy, you can take that Velcro, stick it right back into place so the next time you go to use it, you know exactly where that guy is. And then from there, when you shut your tailgate, this weather stripping automatically has an indent to lip over top of that tailgate for a perfect weatherproof seal. That's it, that's how you use this thing. Now when it comes to opening it, Drop your tailgate. What I recommend doing is every time you open this, grab this rope, because you don't want it to be too violent, too hard, too abrasive. Grab this rope, you're gonna turn this lock, and it unlocks it, and you can feed it all the way back. Now, if you don't use this rope, it goes back very quickly, and it'll be pretty loud, so I'd recommend having this in your hand to feed backwards. Now, what you'll notice is there are points of locking, so I just pulled it a little bit out of the canister, and it locked into place. If you go a little bit further, it'll lock again right into place. So you don't have to have it completely open or completely closed. You can drive with it just like that. Pull it again. You can hear the lock and it'll stop there halfway. Three quarters and then all the way open. So it does have a little bit of versatility with uh, how you want to use it or how open you need it to be depending on the size of your cargo. So there we have it. I'm going to keep this guy closed. And of course you can open this guy up and there's the keyhole, so two keys are included in the kit. You can have a spare. 
put that guy in, turn it, and it's locked, and you won't be able to open it. So that's very useful. You can drop that to hide that keyhole. So from there, again, I'd recommend using that Velcro. And there's a lot of Velcro in the kit. So even when it's closed, there's more here you can strap on. Shut your tailgate, and you're good to go. Well guys, that's gonna wrap up my review and install. If you wanted to get this particular option, you can do so right here at americantrucks.com.